coming up October 14th in live, the Wizard of Ads live webcast, we're going to be talking about direct response ad writing. Now, if you read the Monday morning memo, you'll notice that I've been talking about this now for a couple of weeks, about three weeks altogether. And the thing I want to point out is, normally we're answering a bunch of your questions and this month, I'm going to answer some of the leftover questions we didn't get to last month. But more importantly, I'm going to explain to you how the old rules of direct response writing are beginning to evolve as the me generation evolves into the we. We're now 10 years into the upswing of a we cycle. And we're a lot more suspicious of unsubstantiated claims. We're a lot more suspicious of hyperbole. And this generation was born to the sound of direct response ads, and they've learned to tune them out when they lack certain credibility indicators, or even worse, when they fail to gain and hold your attention. And so no matter how much you know about direct response ad writing, no matter how successful you've been in the past, I'll wager that you've seen it working a little less well each year. Well, we're going to give you the remedy to that. We're going to teach you how to restore the effectiveness that you used to enjoy. Now, it doesn't work 100% of the time. That's just not the case with direct response. But we're going to teach you how to increase your odds significantly. We hope you'll join us. It's Monday, September the 14th. It's always the second Monday in the month. And for October, I said September, didn't I? For October, it's the 14th. I hope you'll join us. For more information, go to rhw.com.